In this video, I will be reviewing this Salam scooter, which I own and which is my current scooter now. So, let's get started. The logo just there. It's a Slam scooter. I've had this for about a year now. It's got plenty of scratches and dents. It's got a Neko headset, I think that part is. Um, covered it in stickers, as you can see, Apex MGP. Um, that one's peeled off. I think that was Envy or something. Um, but there's Ethic, MGP and another Apex one. Then obviously a Slam Scooter one and another Slam Scooter one there. On the grip tape, the grip tape is very dirty because I've had it for a year and I've been on it with dirty shoes. I'm not sure if you see it, but just about there is a Slam logo, Slam Scooter logo thing on the grip tape. The grip date has been applied quite nicely and then it's left sp like a uh, space over the two rivets so you can get the brake thing um, out and back on quite easily. So these bars are not just normal T bars, they're, but they're just steel bars by the way. They have these things there, I think that's to support the top of the bars. But it dips down and then goes back up. This has already came with bar ends, slam scooters on the end there again. Obviously it's a year old about because I got this for Christmas 2019. Um, but as you can see, there's a few dents from me just putting it on the floor on like concrete and things. So, yeah. The parts that this scooter consists of. Obviously I mentioned the Nico headset mentioned the bars already the bars are steel like i said also the grips are very comfortable they're just ordinary grips but they are very comfortable as mentioned before bar ends this comes with a ordinary fork although it has quite a nice it has some holes there which is quite nice the wheels i'm not sure what inch they are um uh, I'm guessing roughly around three inch, just from without measuring, maybe. Um, they're on one side of the. As you can see, on one side, it doesn't have a sticker around the rim. But if I spin it around, it has a sticker there. Obviously, it's quite worn out because, of, as I keep on saying, I've had it for a year. Um, I think it would be quite nice if they give you some extra stickers to go on the wheels, because. It's just done on that side, and then it's also done on the back as well. I just can't really show you at the moment. That one's just plain black, normal. Um, but I think it w would be quite nice if Slam Scooters made it so that on the rims, they could put stickers on every single side of the wheel, or at least supply extra ones so that we could fit them ourselves. That would make perfect sense. As you can see on the front of the deck there. This is logo, very nicely applied. On the front of the deck, I do think it's just a sticker though, not painted on. Also the sticker on the clamp has been applied by me. It um, actually came with some freebies. It came with a free Skate UK bag, which I, which my parents got it from skate uk i think i think it was around 60 pounds and for 60 pounds it's quite a good scooter because it's dialed got bar ends not all scooters have bar ends and it can be a problem if you put it down and you get grass like grass all in there it's really annoying i have that on my bike and there's so much grass in the end of it i really ought to clean it sometime on my bike but yeah hope luckily bar ends the fork is pretty normal, holes in there, um, normal brake, two things there, so if you ride street then you can keep it on, but if you ride skate park then you can take it off. I mean if you ride street then you can take it off as well, that's your reason, but I prefer to keep my brake on because I ride street and I go hill bomb and stuff and whatnot. so um, I would quite like to keep it on just in case I do go pretty fast and I need to stop quickly like there's a car coming or something but yeah there's the wheels I think these wheels are three inch I might have already mentioned that but yeah 
Uh, Neko headset, like I mentioned, nice three um, point clamp. I think they're called three point clamps. Anyway, it's got three bolts, so I would expect like that. Uh, but it's welded nicely there. Welded nicely there. Very clean welds. No problems with the welding at, at all. Now I'm going to do a quick dial test. You may not may be able to see the whole of the spinner. Hopefully you can still see the bars there. But I'm going to do it so I hold it up like that. Drop it. Do it two more times. The bars only move a little bit. So that's all good. Everything's nice and tight. One more time. There you go. Very nice and bouncy with the wheels and stuff.